what's up guys welcome back to the youtube channel we're out here we made it 17 dragway i got randy's car out here car is ready i got to make some adjustments i talked to adam lambert with precision racing suspensions and so he told me what to set the back shocks at we're gonna put a tune up in it hopefully we'll get out there and go like a 116 118 60 foot run it about half track maybe and then we'll be good to go comment like and subscribe if y'all want to support the channel head on over to turbojohnracing.com grab yourself some hats and t-shirts thanks guys
rest of the year. Uncle Mike hooked us up. Yes, the thing went straight. Yeah. It went straight. Felt good in the car. Did it feel like you didn't have to do a bunch of wheeling in there? Uh, you know, uh, it was a three. It was a three ninety nine. <laughs> that actually went straight. You know. That, I mean, I'll tell everybody that was a 121 60 foot. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a 118. Yeah. Uh, so we need to jack it up a little bit. Tracks in good shape. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I only had 30 pounds of dome pressure on it too. I, I had no, I had no dome pressure on it. Like I said, it was 399. It went straight. <laughs> it went straight. <laughs> we'll look at the video. We're gonna pull the uh, pull the data log. Uh, super stoked, man. Super stoked. Yes. All right, guys, well, we just made our first lick, and that thing went pretty straight, went good. Uncle Mike done a great job on the rear end. Now, something we are not able to monitor at the moment, uh, we don't know how fast it's separating in the back because the shock travel sensor that was on this car only had like a six-inch stroke. So uh, that is not enough. These, of course, down there, nine-inch stroke, they're not long enough. The old ones aren't, so we don't have that on there. Uh, but it is separating. If you go back and look at my video, uh, the one that was on the driver's side from, from the back, you can see it separate and then it slowly starts separating. So the air is coming on on these things. I got the back shock set up exactly the way Adam Lambert told us. Uh, that's the owner of PRS, a precision racing suspension, and it's working like a champ. Now we didn't go a stupid fast 60 foot. We weren't really trying. I thought it was gonna be a little bit faster than that. We went on 121. I thought it was gonna be like a 118. So uh, we're at dew 30, so the dew is starting to fall. You can see it happening on the cars, on the grass. So this will probably be the last pass. It's starting to cool off. Uh, we're gonna leave with a pound more boost and we're gonna shorten the ramp up just a little bit. I only had 30 pounds of dome pressure on it. It did make 31 pounds of boost. So I put 35 pounds of dome pressure on it and we shortened it up to like 1.8 seconds, I think it was. So uh, we're gonna try to, but leaving with a, a pound more will make it follow the ramp faster. This turbo, it needs to get going, but this should be like a 116, 60 foot, I would think. Um, somewhere in the 115 to 118 range. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, sometimes they're sensitive, sometimes they're not sensitive. So uh, that's what we're shooting for. Uh, he didn't make a full pass. He let off at uh, 3.5 seconds. So he was a little bit past the uh, half track when he let off which is exactly what we wanted to do. Still uh, coasted through at a pretty good, actually thinking about it, that was personal best for the year, uh, coasting through, letting off. So uh, I think we're in good shape, guys. So we're gonna try it again. Track's getting cold. There's not a lot of cars out here running now at this time. A lot of people are going to the house. So it's just one of those things. They may get out there and spin, but they've done a great job on the track. So uh, man, I am super excited. Here we go, second pass of the night.
All right, guys, pass number two. It did go a little bit faster, but uh, we left with a pound more boost, and uh, we went a 119.60 foot. I expected that to be like a 115, 116. We need to review all the data stuff, get in the, the actual uh, tune-up real good, because we were struggling really bad. So Brandon brought up a good point. He's like, do you have any of that stuff in there trying to make it go down? I was like, I think I took it all out, but I don't know for sure, so we need to look at it and see. But uh, 119 60 foot, so we did pick up a little bit. Uh, he let off a little bit earlier uh, on the gear change. He was only going to run at half track again, but uh, on the gear change, it rattled the tires, he felt like. And so he let off just a tad early, uh, which is fine. And that's the, you know, the thing with drag racing in the, the fall and the winter and early spring. I mean, you know, we, we go from a very short window at nighttime where it's the only time you can drag race uh, because daytime's too hot. And then it goes to, uh, you start getting dew, and y'all can see all the dew on the car. The dew is settling, and it's starting to um, get kind of sketchy down track. Uh, they had the track on point, though. Uh, we're really excited. Mike done a great job uh, fixing the rear end. The back shocks, uh, Adam uh, Lambert with PRS, Precision Racing Suspension. Man, those things are on point. We're very, very, very happy with the way it is doing. Now, we ain't made but two passes. We ain't gone stupid fast with it yet. But the front end's not trying to come up. It ain't trying to wheelie. The front, I mean, this is doing exactly like we had hoped it would do. So I think we got a hot rod again. Motor's making plenty of power. Uh, we'll be out in a couple weeks with it. He's got a few things to do on his to-do list. And overall, though, we are ready. Randy, what's the thing? You excited? Yes, sir. Thank you. It, uh, run, all you do for what did it feel like in the car? Oh, man, 399, baby. <laughs> 399. <laughs> it probably did feel like that after our, <laughs> after our six months, eight months, a year. Yeah. of the struggle bus of the car yeah. flexing so much. Uh, Uncle Mike hooked us up. He did, uh, he did a good job. Uncle Mike hooked us up. I think he yeah. uh, done a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, Brian both did. They did a great job. We had no problem with power, but for the last year or so, we've been really struggling. And so I think we're good to go. Yeah. I, I think I think we're going to be able to throw some power at it. Yeah, I'm, next radio race, you know, we get back from Texas and, you know, see what's, see what's out there and, Watch, there'll be five no prep races in a row, but I'm tickled to death. The, you know? There's already a big one when we're going to be in Texas next weekend. Yeah. Carolina no time next weekend at Piedmont. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But, yeah. But we're going to Texas. Yeah, we're going to Texas. We're going to Texas. I mean, but, it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, we'll catch the next one. There'll be uh, plenty more of both of them. Yeah, so we'll, we'll let them guys stay safe up there at Carolina no time. Yeah, I think um, I think we got a, I think we got a hot rod yes, that is finally capable of going what yeah. we knew it could go yeah. uh, we're, in we're all still all glass trim still gonna go have fun no that's right that's all it's about anyway right. going out there having fun trying to win acting and more or less just making making some laps yeah. going straight making progress getting faster yeah literally the straightest i've ever seen the yeah. <laughs> i know me too that's why i was like i'm up there my belly's all bubble gutted up i'm like please go straight and yeah. it did so i'm, I'm super laughing. excited i was laughing all the way down <laughs> all right guys we done we out of here uh we'll see y'all soon comment like and subscribe later guys